nah fährt ohne Namen. Hm. Ah, Moment. Ich weiß ja, was ich wieder tun wollte. Das heißt wieder, ich weiß, was ich tun wollte. Und zwar... Äh, Geld eintreiben. Oh nein, fuck. Nope.
ain't even worth it. Yeah. Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. Er sich windet. dabei. Moment, was? Oh. Hmm. Something should happen to me. My was? Blow me down. Something should happen to me. My worldly possessions are stored here. Sogar markiert.
Was? Was war das denn? This could get bumpy. Come on, boy. Das war ja ein Quatsch. Highlighted Area. Das kommt ja überhaupt nicht hin. Okay. Das hätte ich aber tatsächlich anders gelesen. Na gut. der Baum hier, was? Hey, mind yourself. <laughs> Tja, da läuft er. Making me uneasy. Back up. Okay, okay. Keep your hair on. Emerald ranches here, okay.
match made. Miss Millet, you know where I can find her? She's with Cooper over by the store. <lacht> Erstmal das Tor kaputt machen. I need to find a ranch maid here called Lily Millet. You know where she is? No, no. Oh Pferd, was ist denn los bei dir jetzt hier? Oh, ich mag das Pferd nicht. Ich vermisse Anna. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Lily Millet. She's a ranch maid here. You know where she is? Lily? Just over there by the store with Cooper. Verfehlt hier. Warum kann ich sie nicht anvisieren? Recent Crimes? Was habe ich denn getan? Hä? Dann 
geht es eben zurück. Hey friend. Oh, damn.
all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Me? A real gunslinger? Let's find out. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles, wins. Just draw your gun and... Aim when you're ready. Moment. <laughs> Shoot! Ah, yes! Perfecto! Damn it all! How the hell did you beat me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Better shot, I suppose. That didn't make me happy at all. How about we raise the stakes, huh? Come on. Right, Could win real big. Aha, that's a good call, amigo. Okay, whoever shoots four birds out of the sky first wins. Simple enough? Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah, there they go. Shoot! Maybe next time, huh? Listen, you need to pay me for your loss, okay? Here. Lucky for you, I'm having a bad day. Hmm. Maybe we'll do this again, huh? Hasta la próxima, amigo. Jetzt weiß ich zumindest äh, ungefähr, wie Dead Eye funktioniert. Ja. Zwar muss man die äh, Treffpunkte noch nicht mal selbst setzen, man muss einfach nur mit der mit dem Retikel drüber zielen. Mehr nicht. Allerdings darf man dann wohl nicht loslassen oder so, sonst schießt er nicht. Ich keine Ahnung. Sehr merkwürdig auf jeden Fall. the ledger was brauche ich denn ich bin so ein richtiger contributor ne? 50 dollar alle anderen nur so 1 dollar 50 5 dollar 15 cent Oh, good and hot. 
Increases total supplies, includes snake oil to restore dead eye and bitters to restore stamina. Hmm. Yeah, noise. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? I made a start on things. Haven't recovered all of it yet. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. Ich finde es immer interessant, dass äh, Amerikaner meinen, dass Deutsche, wenn sie in den Staaten sind oder so, immer noch bei ihrer Vorsilbe bleiben. Äh, beziehungsweise bei ihrer Herr. Dass keiner von denen einfach irgendwie Mr. sagt oder auch Mrs. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Thank you. Don't worry about it, Reverend. I made a fool of myself again. We've all done that, Reverend. I'm bitterly ashamed. Really, I am. Dreihundert. Ach, 225, ich wollte gerade sagen. 2,25 Dollar ist jetzt nicht so viel. Oh, damn. Another busy day. Nee, nee, ich war noch nicht fertig. Man kann ja mal auf die Kacke hauen. Too old. Once you fought real monsters and got away alive, 
You head back to land and you count your blessings, sir. Monsters? Monsters. Whales. Whales. Whales are like kittens. You stick them with a harpoon, and you scoop them up in your head home, and you act tough. That's easy. No. Real monsters. You sharks. Sardines. <laughs> Sardines? That's ridiculous. <laughs> Sardines. Any real seagoer will tell you. Boys hunt whales. Men hunt sardines. It's not the size. It's the number. One mistake, and they'll swamp you. I've seen 300-pound men eaten alive. I once saw a Portuguese wrestler crushed by a net that ripped. It's the sheer volume of them. Brutal. Brutal business. You learn a new thing every day. Exactly. Say, did I ever tell you boys that I once thought about going to sea? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the honest truth is that I was in love with the captain's wife, and she, and she was in love with me, and... Well, we were, we were gonna sail to Brazil and, and raise cattle. <laughs> well, but, you know, I got drunk. <laughs> missed the boat. I mean, literally missed the boat. Yeah. I, by the time I got to the docks, it was gone. <laughs> Mr. Morgan. It happens. It happens. Mr. Morgan. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I never liked that woman, Mr. Morgan. Funny business. Hmm. Now, why are you so afraid of a pair of gelding tongs? <laughs> I thought you were the horse you expert. That. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, go on. <laughs> it ain't like you got balls, anyways. <laughs> What's for an Oh, hell's half acre. <laughs> oh, hearing him. Oh, oh, my balls. <laughs> Why, that'd be enough. <clears throat> My lady. Arthur. Have a nice evening. Good evening, Arthur. Oh, Arthur, it is good to see you. You okay, Maybeth? Just great, but I nearly got killed back in town. They caught me robbing from a store and I ran for my life. You weren't followed here. Arthur Morgan, of course not. Who do you think you're speaking to? Good girl. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again. If you could spare me a little bit of your time, I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Hmm. 
Was kann ich jetzt hier eigentlich? Ah, nicht help. Ach. Health experience. Ach so. Ach, das ist so ein unique Ding oder was? Das werde ich noch nicht überfallen hier. Das ist ja was.
I need to find a ranch maid here called Lily Millet. You know where she is? Don't know. Lily Millet. She's a ranch maid here. You know where she is? Not sure, but I, I think I saw her with Cooper earlier. Where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper! Give him what you've got! I ain't giving him nothing except a lessening. Damn money! Oh, oh, bitch! Fuck! Fuck! Das ist nicht mein Hut. Check his pocket. You'll find something on him, I swear. He's got money on him. He has to. Hey, you know what I'd do to thieves? Law hear about this. I didn't steal that, it's a debt. Damn it. Can't a man have some peace? You stop, goddammit. You stop right there. You're about to get your face broke. You stop. You'll be real sorry. You could have quit. <laughs> you messed up. Uh. Oh, 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 oh. Alright.
Oh, Moment. Ja, stimmt. Du hast recht, Pferd. So, wo ist denn der alte gute Mensch? Wie die Kinder im Kindergarten.
Uh, if you could help me with these shackles, I, I just might have a chance. So how'd you end up like this? Just shoot the damn chains already, come on! Just shoot the chains off, please. I'm done for otherwise. Na ja, komm, machen wir das damit. Come on, dude. Oh. oh, oh, yes. Yes. Perfect. Ah, thank you. Uh -huh. I, I got no money <laughs> to give you, but... Hey, what the oh, hell? Oh, oh, oh. Get away from me. Sorry. Okay, boy. Let's das go. war eigentlich nicht der Plan. Na gut. Und wo soll er jetzt hin? Kann ich mich nur entschuldigen? Eigentlich wollte ich deeskalieren. Hallo? Ja, komm, lass uns laufen. Lass ihn laufen. Oh, Mr. Downs! Schon was. Mr. Thomas Downs, you owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. The debt will be paid when I can pay it, sir. There's, there's nothing more I can say. Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir, I'm, I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? <laughs> please, I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm, I'm not running anywhere. I'm... I'm I'm do I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard. But 
I got you now. Please, please, show some compassion. Please. Now, wouldn't paying up have been a little easier? You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman? My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Habe ich ihn doch noch nicht mal sonderlich grob angefasst. you get on not so good he's almost dead and they seem more or less destitute you were a fool for lending them the money that people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions of course money lending and other sins uh -huh. Ich werde jetzt als nächstes zu der guten Frau gurken, denn das interessiert mich. Good morning, Arthur. Found some cash in that O'Driscoll cabin, but not much else. A shotgun. And no coal? Not for now. Moment. Was hatte ich denn jetzt hier eigentlich von schon gelesen? Ich glaube noch so so richtig gar nichts, ne? Warte mal. Das ist der erste Teil. Da kann man anscheinend nichts lesen. I bought this new journal. Yeah, this I've already read. After the last one got destroyed in that fire all those months ago, whenever it was, haven't written or drawn much in the past few months. But I was missing it more than I thought I would. Finally near a store, so here I am, I guess. After all that business up north and the fire, we spent a few months in the wilderness, traveling down from the northern grizzlies. Moment. Ich 
stuck mostly in the western foothills of the mountains during the worst of the winter. Food was easy to find and life was good. Dutch had a lead for some land we were going to buy, but the land did not match up to his criteria. Or he got spooked. We were being watched by the law and that somebody knew he, who he was. And we never bought it and we are wandering still. We picked up a couple and, uh, of new folk and the grizzlies. Jenny, a sweet young girl we met abandoned on the roadside, and Micah, ah, uh, yeah, an outlaw Dutch met in a bar some, uh, an outlaw Dutch met in a bar someplace. Dutch seems very taken with Micah, who is pretty hot-headed, argumentative, and full of himself. Hosea and I are less sure. Guess we shall see. Eventually, we came out of the wilderness and now hold up outside of Blackwater, although sometimes I stay in town hunting for opportunities. I might be onto something. We got plenty of money, and the trail we took was so torturous and slow, nobody could have followed us south and east or figured out where we was heading. We was thinking about California, but then Dutch and Hosea brought up, uh, brought us down to Blackwater. Does Blackwater or we? Blackwater has apparently grown a whole lot since any of them was last here. I was told to expect little more than a trading post. Our place was growing, fa is growing fast, and it's almost a small city. The town seems to be riddled with corruption. Well, there is certainly plenty of money here. It's good to be sleeping in a bed from time to time and living a more civilized life after so long under canvas. But I do not particularly like being this near to a town. Hmm. We are living here, camping outside town, mostly hidden in plain sight, I guess. Life seems pretty easy. Abigail and Marston keep arguing. I wonder why exactly he came back. He cannot seem to decide if he wants to be father to that boy of his or not. The arguing is exhausting. I heard talk of a man sounded like Trelawney, but we haven't seen him for many months. Trelawney? Der Name kommt auch irgendwie bekannt vor. Also nicht jetzt aus dem Spiel oder so, aber... So generell. Hosea, im Gegensatz zu dem Namen, Hosea ist schon sehr merkwürdig. And I are onto something, something pretty big. Might be a lot of cash coming in to, uh, in to do with the real estate scam Hosea thinks he may have discovered. I'm not sure yet, the perfect crime we think. One where we rob crooks, we are being real careful. It's fun working with Hosea again. The man is an artist of nonsense. Even if nothing comes of it, we are having an amusing enough time. Hmm. <laughs> okay. It's good to be running scams again. Hosea is a born huckster. He's getting anxious, worried that by lingering in town we are going to bring undue attention on ourselves. But Dutch thinks he is also onto something big. His words, not mine. Bank money being brought in by boat, apparently. So for now, we are working on both things and seeing what happens. Plan is to flee west into the desert country someplace if we can. Micah and Dutch are planning to rob the ferry in town. They think it's laden with riches, cash coming in for the banks, coming in by boat. For once I'm not getting involved in the job, Hosea and I are too taken up with our business, which I believe could go very well. And Dutch seems confident that with the group assembled, all will be okay. Ah, uh, bestimmt. Plan is for them to carry out the job, then flee into the wilderness out to the west. The next day, Hosea and I carry out our scam and join them. Dutch seems happy and excited. He's talking again about California, but he's also talking about a lot of other places.
Das ist was? Blackwater. Blackwater Sales. Mhm. We have been running for weeks. I mean, running more than usual. The job they was pulling in Blackwater robbing that very turned into a disaster. Young Jenny got killed, poor thing, while Sean and Mac both got arrested or killed. Nobody seems sure which. Dutch shot a girl. I'm not too sure if by accident or design. And seems like it might have been a setup. We took her to the hills in an almighty scramble, leaving money and most of our things behind. Ja, scheiße. Davy is told. Then, as we were fleeing east over the Grizzlies, an almighty storm hit us. Und da setzte das Spiel ein. Davy Callender, who had got shot in the gut on the raid, passed away. It was brutal to watch. The rest of us nearly froze, but we found shelter and have been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we await the thaw. Davy. Camp. Ach, Coulter war das. Ja, richtig. Camp. Sie, sieht man ja. Ja, genau. Hardly the spring I've been hoping for. Hosea and I have been planning a robbery of our own in Blackwater, but I guess that's been abandoned along with most of what I own. I am profoundly concerned as to what happens next, once we leave this place or the law finds us cowering up here. I found a girl, well, a woman I should say. Her husband had been murdered by some of Colm or Dis Driscoll's boys. Nasty business. Riding out. Was steht da? The Vicians. Ach hier, der Dings. Leviticus. Leviticus? Leviticus. Ja, okay, okay. Ja, gut. Kann ich, kann ich mitleben. Seems Colm O'Driscoll had the same ideas as us. He's been hiding up here. Scouting out... Scouting out a train he wanted to rob. We bumped into some of his boys at some farmstead they was robbing. Found that poor woman whose husband they had murdered, and she is now riding with us as she ain't got no place better to be. Then Dutch being Dutch and his hatred for Colm being just as powerful as ever it was, whole bunch of us got got to pay him a visit in his camp, but he escaped. Ah ja, die Geschichte, wo ich einfach geschossen habe, anstatt zu stealthen. <laughs> oh, Coulter. We grabbed one of his boys. Poor bastard ain't spoken yet, but he will once we freeze him a little. Then set Bill on him. Been a, hat. Been a bad few weeks, but we're mostly still alive. Dutch being Dutch is busy making plans and figuring out how we are going to survive. And Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Der wirkt ein bisschen angepisst, der Gute. Horseshoe Overlook. Finally, thaw in this god awful weather. We got off the mountain and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in a many a year. Hosea seems to know the country a little. Ain't been much of a spring. Now hold up at a place called Horseshoe Overlook, outside of some dumpy little cattle town and name of Valentine. Ach siehste. Ob da wohl, äh, links ist ja hier ich beim Holzhacken, ob da dann wohl was anderes steht, wenn ich was anderes gemacht hätte als erstes. Ha. Huh. Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. Oh yeah. Da habe ich den Dinosaurierknochen gefunden. This fella I took to talking with the tra with 
We're talking with at the train station told me that I could get decent money if I collected complete sets of cigarette cards and sent them to him. We shall see. Sounds harmless enough. Ach, der Typ. Creeping Thyme. American Ginseng. Wild Carrots. Oh ja, das, äh, das war hier der, der abgefackelte Bereich. Direkt neben dem Camp. Uh, took a day off and went of hunting with Hosea. He really seems to be getting his strength back a bunch, although he is lucky not to die as if the big bear he'd been after turned on us. I thought when he was stuck up on the mountains that the cold and the misery would kill him, and we'd bury him like we buried Jenny and Davy. But he pulled through and he'll live a while yet. I love Dutch like a father, but in many ways I love Hosea even more. He's kind and fair and like a human being. Dutch is something else. This bear was also something else. Size of a goddamn hotel it was and mean with it. Horseshoe Overlook. Met some old drunk in Valentine, claimed he was a shootist, seemed more like a clown. Some poor fool was writing a book about him, trying to. Levin was the name of the writer. Jim Calloway was the killer, apparently Levin needs more information. Asked me to find a, new f a, f a few folk who have spent more time in publicity than me. Knew old Jim back when he was a real killer. Their names are Ahmed Granger. Flacco Hernandez, Billy Midnight and Black Bell. Ah, stimmt, der Typ. Sound like a troop of clowns. We shall see what kinds of people those who want to be famous murderers is. My hopes are not too high. Met a strange guy. Though he was a prophet. Thought he was a prophet. Blind. Ach, der Typ. Der davon erzählte, dass, dass es nicht klug ist, eines fremden Mannes äh, Pferd zu stehlen. Headed into Valentine with the uncle and the girls. Girls went scanning out work, while uncle and I had a few drinks and he explained more of his theories of existence and barefaced lies about his past. Things took a strange turn. The fella seemed to recognize me or us from Blackwater. Guess we had been holed up there too long while Hosea and I scouted the job that never was. I chased the bastard. And he nearly fell off a cliff. I spared him and he gave me an ink pen. I hope I won't regret my leniency, but I reckon he got the scare of his life. Jimmy Brooks was his name. Was richtig cool gewesen wäre, wenn er hier jetzt was mit dem, uh, mit dem Tinten was er mit dem Füller geschrieben hätte. Aber das wohl nicht so. Schade. Cormo Driscoll slipped through our fingers once more and I saw my own life slip through mine. That gentle buffoon we kidnapped up in the mountains took us to a cabin. We were planning to kill Corm, but he had just gone on elsewhere. We shot a bunch of his boys and one was about to end my life when Kieran shot him. This feed. It's bled out from Dutch and Combs mutual hatred into a loathing that perme ter permutates, ne, permeates all of us and all of them. Still, I found quite a shotgun in the cabin. Oh yeah, stimmt. Herr Strauss, Herr Strauss is back lending money and I'm back collecting it. The work mostly involves me and shames me. Somehow robbing people honestly with a gun and fists is less repellent than robbing them fully in accordance with the law. It'll be the usual sort of desperados, sick farmers, pregnant maids, lovesick young men and other dupes desperate enough and stupid enough to take Strauss' terms. Uh, you, you us life? What? Okay. Maybe a comfortable one, but it is foul work. Okay, das Wort kenne ich nicht. 
Indian Tobacco. Ah ja, das ist tatsächlich der letzte Eintrag. Und dann die Schafe. The big man. Okay. Play Poker. Nee. Kann ich eben. Mr. Morgan. Mr. Pearson. Quite a country. Quite a country. You know, sometimes I'm glad I left the Navy. Too many men. <laughs> Too many men. This world? Far more genteel, huh? <laughs> I never figured running in a bunch of outlaws would be the genteel option. <laughs> well, I've seen things, sir. I've seen terrible things. Da nicht rein? Okay. Na gut, dann. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet. But Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. They don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah. Dutch. Arthur. What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry. It's okay, and... son. Breathe. They nearly lynched me. They... They got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging them. Here's open. Arthur, what? <laughs> the fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur? No crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. as fast as I could. Didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. <sighs> I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side, Arthur. What were you boys doing? You are supposed to be scouting ahead for. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he <laughs> is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. And then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you gonna go get them? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drank that started all this. 
We'll just have a cup. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Oh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur. Diese Optik. Großartig. Moment, ich könnte auch mein, mein Pferd hier mal eben hier hitchen, ne? Das wäre vielleicht eine Idee. Mein Pferd ist nicht gehitcht. Egal. seem to know a lot of people that was the problem how you mean i mean i done seen a lot of crazy crazy a stuff a lot Mike... of crazy crazy stuff will you shut up will you shut up be quiet buddy <laughs> oh there dullard my lord you men is dull and <laughs> <laughs> hey, leave this fool alone leave the fool alone People been leaving me alone for the last 10 years. Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. <laughs> But me and the kid here, we're trying to talk business. So could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. No. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just, just trying to be friendly. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh god. Well. That's great, Arnold. Lenny, where are you? Oh nein. Hey, you see my friend anywhere? Sorry, I don't know. Can't find my friend. You know where we went? Don't ask me. Which way my friend went? Wouldn't know. See that feller I was with? I don't know, sorry. Hey. Hey, buddy. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Ich etwa raus. Scheinbar nicht.
Circle to Lenny. Oh mein Gott. Kein Lenny. Muss ich hier oben gucken? Tommy? Das ist der, den ich vermöbelt habe. Also nicht verheiratet, okay. <lacht> oh nein, <lacht> schon wieder. <lacht> oh Gott, Lenny ist unten. Nein, Lenny, du stehst in jemanden. Ja, nicht übertreiben hier. Ja. 
gekriegt haben. Arthur takes Lenny for a quiet drink in Valentine to help to calm him down after learning of Micah's arrest in Strawberry. Yeah. <sighs> you can rest by holding. Your course will not drain while resting and will refill slightly if they are very low. Craften. Ich habe nämlich nichts. Oder ich habe, äh, nee, Moment. Tonics. Provisions. eine Fire Bottle craften, also im Grunde ein Molotov Cocktail. Ah, okay. Activity nearby. Wo ist denn die Activity? Oh, wo bin ich hier überhaupt? Ach, okay. Keine Kippen mehr. Meine ich doch. Ah. Ah. Dummes Pferd. Ich habe schon wieder meinen Hut verloren, ne? Das ist der Wahnsinn. Hey there. Come on, fella. Damn, I missed the horse. Howdy, partner. Howdy, partner. Kann es sein, dass ich schon wieder meine einen Großteil meiner Waffen nicht dabei habe? Außer die Schrotflinte, na gut. Das ist ja wie verhext. Ja, komm Wolf, wenn du mich willst, dann musst du erstmal an meiner Schrotflinte vorbei. Who goes there? 
It's a me. Hey, Art. Mr. Morgan. To what do we owe the pleasure? You'll be back on your feet in no time. I sure hope so. Was ist das? Good morning, Arthur. Ach, Strauß. Leopold? Arthur. Ah, that reminds me. I got some debt money for the box. Seem chipper, but where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And good morning, Arthur. You'll start howling at some other moon, like like this one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching you. Whatever you say. was <laughs> wrong. <laughs> in the head that one you're not <lacht> so ein bisschen ein an der klatsche haben sie alle hier morning damn day what an awful morning you okay abigail settling in Good. I'm fine, Arthur. Don't make it weird. <laughs> oh. I just wanted to say I'm sorry about your husband. Your home. He was worth a hundred of you thieves and murderers. I have no doubt. You okay? Those loans are coming in. Are they? Good. Check the box. What's in the box? Ich könnte mal gucken, ob man noch irgendwas upgraden kann hier. Hi there. Cocaine chewing gum. Ah, uh, yeah.
haben wir hier irgendwo Quests direkt im... Ne, haben wir nicht. Okili dokili. Maika. So, ich möchte jetzt aber wie gesagt erstmal hier Mary und so. Wobei, vorher hole ich mir noch mal meinen Hut. Geht ja auf keine Kuhhaut hier, ohne Hut. Machen wir mal diesmal den hier. Anni! Du hier! Und nicht am Plunkbad spielen. Das ist ja großartig. Ach so, okay. Immer noch. Gott. Alter, was? Okay. Das äh, ging schnell. Ich wurde jetzt schon insgesamt dreimal überfallen. Bis 2 Uhr. Na gut. Ihr seid ja seltsam. wenn es Spaß macht. Hopp. Hopp. Ach, jetzt, Moment, jetzt habe ich ja wieder mein Pferd. Was ist denn da los? muss einmal sterben und schon ist das eigene Pferd wieder da. Das ist auch alles ein komisches Hin und Her. Ich bin jetzt gerade auf dem Weg, eine Frau zu treffen aus meiner Vergangenheit. Im Übrigen bin ich gerade mit einem Kollegen aus dem Camp saufen gewesen und da hat sich herausgestellt, dass ich doch nicht verheiratet bin. Im Suff habe ich dann verraten, dass ich einfach niemand mit mir einlassen wollte. Bis auf diese Frau, die mich jetzt sehen will. Die hat mir einen Brief geschrieben. Aber angeblich soll die mir wohl nicht gut tun. Aber werden wir dann sehen. Bin gespannt. Die wollte wohl weg und jemanden heiraten. Ist dann aber wohl doch nichts draus geworden. Und jetzt ist sie wieder hier. Und ich bin wohl gut genug.
wollen ja gar kein Pferd anbinden. Ah doch, da. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Um, is um, is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton, a collar for you. Hello, Arthur. I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh... Well, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that. Arthur. Oh, okay. I... Uh, my family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but... But I think of you often. A long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please. Arthur, will you help me? Natürlich. Wir haben doch ein weiches Herz. Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Come on, boy. ich jetzt hin? Da. Mary Linton. Jo, dahin. Und auf dem Weg dahin äh, werde ich wahrscheinlich wieder überfallen oder so ein Bullshit. Oh. Mr. 
Was ist denn hier los? gesund aus. Oh hey, you there. Think you can help a lady out? My horse up and died on me, twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? Na gut. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool. Always complaining. But does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away. Aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage for me has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit, he was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on, and I must have made some sort of noise, because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. <clears throat> Kicked his hide, too, as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Oh, yeah? Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. <laughs> So, you live at Emerald Ranch then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. I'll be moving on soon, though. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. How so? The owner's a mean bastard. Strange, too. Delights in bullying folk. There's a daughter, but she never leaves the house. You can see her in the window sometimes. When I asked about her, everybody told me to leave it alone. Hmm. Found an old saloon there, all shut down now. But I went in to have a look, and there's bullet holes, old blood stains. Something definitely happened there, but I couldn't figure it. Just an uncomfortable feeling to the place. Either way, it's time I left. Especially now I lost that poor horse. I'll collect my belongings and be on my way. Back home? I guess. I bet my husband's right where I left him. Bottle in hand. We're getting close now. Here we go. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please, take this as my way of thanking you. <laughs> Appreciate it. <sighs> What a lousy day. <laughs> War Jose ja nicht irgendwo hier? Will you move? 
Take it easy. Fine, you moron. <lacht> Nettigkeiten überall. Das ist hey, Fran. Hey, Mister. Hi, Fran. Hey, Hus. Oh, doch, da. Hoseyo. Boss Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay, I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By Ooh. marriage, I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. If you survive <clears throat> that... Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just off the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. <laughs> you heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> Keine Blutsverwandtschaft. Das muss er erwähnen. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Oh, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. Hello. What's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Hey, let's keep it down now. We must be close. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on.
There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Hmm, okay. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Ach, item wheel. Now, I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show where you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? <clears throat> Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. Junior here a bit. You selling something, partner? I'm not selling, sir. I'm giving it away. <laughs> I was just telling uh, uh, your, uh, Junior, what's your name, sir? Robert Crawford III, sir. Tip. Oh, pleasure to meet you. Fehlt noch ein Dollar. Krieg ich den denn her? Really? 
strategy and you're asking me about money, sir. I ain't made of money, Mr. Irix. A reasonable. Have a think about it. I'll be around this way next. Gentlemen. You done, Arthur? Yep. Okay, let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. Oh, yeah. Stimmt, habe ich. So what were you able to lift from the house? A few bits and pieces. Nothing too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. Yeah, exactly. How long do you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Here we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. Okay. Here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Yeah. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. <clears throat> Put that thing in here. Quickly. Nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Catch up with you later. Okay. Stay out of trouble. Do all. Oops. Hello. Hmm, okay. 
der Seamus ist auch ein Hehler. Und er stellt Trinkets her. Hm. Na gut. So, kann ich hier ein Lager aufschlagen? Kann ich irgendwas kochen? Gritty Fish. Lame Game. Oh, Thyme Game. Das probiere ich doch jetzt mal aus. Up tint. Ah, oh, ist das schön. Oh, Moment, eigentlich wollte ich nicht so lange schlafen, aber egal. Passt schon. <lacht> New Journal Entry. Was gibt's da denn so? So, das war jetzt das letzte. Ah. I went to call in alone some farmer local do-gooder. Think I'd seen him in Valentine before when I was fighting that big fella. He begged and cuffed and spluttered and I beat him half to death. Such is life, such is the world. His boy looked at me like I was a devil and perhaps for him I was. The whole thing confused me, maybe what's uh, that's wrong. The whole thing revolted me, my part. These sad, desperate bastards, their silly expectations of life and their tawdry reality, the unkindness of existence, I can handle that just fine. But I do not love it, nor those who try to make things otherwise, I guess. Went off drinking with young Lenny, thanks to my own peculiar genius for trouble when drunk. The evening did not go quite according to plan, but somehow neither of us got killed or arrested for murder, despite my best efforts in that regard. Somehow. I don't imagine that the saloon owner and Valentine likes me very much after the mayhem I have caused there. Smithfield's saloon. Mm -hmm. Hosea and I went robbing, just like in the old days. Father and son pair of clowns at some farmhouse stole a wagon. So did some rat Hosea met, uh, had met at some odd place called Emerald Ranch. What goes on there I cannot tell, but this little purchaser of stolen goods had us go rob his own family. Even by, his sta uh, by my standards that was low, but the father and son were who we robbed was proof that even God makes mistakes sometimes. 
Hosea performed brilliantly as some kind of huckster selling restorative care to crooks bags. Uh, whole thing was utterly ridiculous and brilliant. Man kann ich jetzt dauerhaft campen. Oder für eine längere Zeit auf jeden Fall. Das wäre ja richtig lustig.
recent rediscovery of theology. <laughs> One hundred years ago, the great Cholonian master led pilgrims across the Lanahassi into the wilderness to found a great place of safety. A place of safety. That is where we are heading, Jamie. Yes, Jamie. That is where we are heading. Yes, Jamie, we are heading to paradise. It's in the mountains. Gentlemen. <laughs> Shell of safety. Shell of safety. Got to speak to the boy? Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried. The boy has chosen a path, sir. A path to truth. Well, I mean, his sister just wants to speak with him. Arthur, I've chosen a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I'm still searching, I guess. <laughs> we are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for? <laughs> Stupidity. You're searching for whoever stole your common sense, you nutcase. Are you always this negative and antagonistic, sir? I'm not a very cultured man. Forgive me, please. <laughs> I am a fool for my god and a happy one, sir. I bless you. What do I dream about? Who are my heroes? Turtles. <laughs> what? I have no idea. Uh, turtles. Yeah, turtles. Hey, you love turtles. I love them too. Turtles. <laughs> Jamie knows the truth, but of course, you may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Chelonia. Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Oh, 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 oh. Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way. I don't have to answer to you. Sorry. They're just what? using you. Telling you what you want to hear. What the hell do you know about it, Arthur? Yeah. Come on, Jamie. Your sister's worried about you. This is none of your damn Whoa! Ah. Yeah. For Christ's sakes, Jamie, just hold up a minute. You pop up out of nowhere? Yeah. Come on, you ain't stupid. You can see this is crazy. You're the crazy one. Let's talk about this. I was doing just fine by myself. Little jackass. Sorry, mister. You what are you going to do, Jamie? Live the rest of your life in the mountains with those people? They're my friends. Yep. If you don't leave me alone, I'll shoot you. I swear it. What are you talking about? You ain't no killer. You don't know who I am. Come
Oh nein! Ah. Womit schießt sich? Achso, oh, er ist tot. Okay. Ich habe doch R2 gedrückt. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, kid. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? I don't know. I don't know enough about it. But one thing I do know. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Yeah. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know, you taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Shalonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. <laughs> I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. <laughs> All Father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father? Nice man? He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, well, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. <laughs> I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father yep. told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and what was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt. But none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. You 
Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. He told me. So the door's open, so to speak. That's all in the past. Different people now. She's not. And you seem just the same. Well, maybe <laughs> that right there's the problem. She was always too good for me. Let's just get you back to your sister. She's waiting at the station for us. Make it quick or I might run off again. Hello? You need to open your eyes. You're nervous about seeing her, aren't you? <laughs> Father's been very sad. My father wouldn't know sadness if it died in his bed. But I'll come home for you. My boy. My sweet boy. Come on. Oh, Arthur. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to see you, Mary. And you, Arthur. And you. You'll never change. I know that. I feel like luckiest man alive and I feel like a fool that woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more but <laughs> somehow I imagine I shall Na, hat er was dazu geschrieben? Tatsächlich noch nicht. Okay. Oh, ich kaufe mir jetzt eine, eine Zeitung. Ja, tatsächlich. Jebediah woke up hey, in the stable this morning. Howdy. Typical. Uh, you, mister, excuse me. Hey. Hey. Wo waren denn jetzt nochmal Schweine? Ich habe noch keine Schweine, äh, äh, untersucht. Ich 
habe Schweine schon. Ich habe Schweine schon gehört, aber noch keine gesehen. So geht das. Ich ja so die ganze Zeit über negative Energie versprühen, ey. Mann, Mann, Mann. Ach, Pferd. Warum folgst du mir ständig? So, was haben wir denn hier noch Schönes zu tun? Maika ist da. Will ich den befreien? Eigentlich nicht. Aber wird mir wohl nichts anderes übrig bleiben. Rusty okay, Steed. We got something here. Maybe you can help. We're making moonshine, okay? But our last batch was terrible. Set your teeth on edge. Ugh. <laughs> With the right ingredients, maybe. Listen, you fetch us some, maybe there's something in it for you. 
A reward. What do you think of that? Moonshine, was war denn das noch mal gerade? Sounds easy enough. Sure. Wild tobacco might be nice. Good and earthy. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> well, I have that already. Go ahead. Throw them into the mixer and we'll see how it turns out. Yeah. Round on the side of the still. Open the hatch. Well, moment of truth. All right, darling. Let's give this a taste. Isn't the tastiest, but I do get a kick after drinking this. <laughs> Very nice, huh? Why don't you rest up? We'll brew a big batch of this later. Hey, listen. If there's any drink finer than ours, it's what's in that chest over there. Take it. Enjoy it, okay? Well, that's kind, boys. Thanks. Nothing like a life without regulation. Woher kenne ich diesen, diesen Schrei, was so ein bisschen klingt wie ein Schwein, aus irgendeinem Videospiel, ich weiß aber nicht aus welchem.
Jetzt geht's richtig los hier. Ich stelle mich unter der Brücke. Unter. Scheint auch nichts zu bringen. Na gut. Taking a look. We're with the Appleseed Timber Company. Head foreman. We started getting started on this site, but we should have some fine big valley lumber for sale very soon if you're interested. I'll keep that in mind. We should be further along by now, but what can you do? <laughs> look at these dolts. There's not a brain between them. Listen, you got any supplies for sale? Food, medicine? Starting to run low, and I can't spare anyone to go into town. Not the way things are going. I'd be happy to pay premium for them. Mm. Nah, sorry, partner. All right. Well, you check back with us in a few days if you're in the market for any lumber. Ah, da bist du. Here I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Can't think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. Shall I h hop up there on, on the back with you? Never mind, all right? I don't want your help. Oh, my God! Uh. Scheiße, ich sollte echt meine... Nachher no, wegpacken. Oh, wo bist du denn jetzt hingelaufen?
Das ist jetzt schon der zweite, den ich einfach verscheuche aufgrund einer unbeabsichtigt gezückten Waffe. Ja, naja. Waren sicher beides Idioten. Erdbeere. Seine Katze. Ach, da in der Ecke. Hey, Kitty. Hi there, Kitty. Cats make good household pets, as they can maintain any pest problems within their environment. Aha. eine Kippe hingeworfen. Strawberry Depot. Nicht den freikaufen. Ja. Hallo, Sir. Ich bin uh, von Blackwater. Ich bin auf dem Trail von einem dangerous Gang. Ich nenne ihn Driscoll. Ich habe gehört, dass du sort of Incident hattest. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight, two men got killed. Now, one of them's an idiot, the other's some kind of dumb mix, so maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, sir. Wieder am Regnen. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. <laughs> Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. This wall just needs some good force. Steam donkey over there still works. Yes. Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Get out of here, 
Come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. something of mine my guns i showed him and i'll show the rest of this town you have really lost it this time It's time. 
Ernsthaft. Mein Pferd ist gestorben. Mein Pferd ist gestorben. Der hat mein Pferd erschossen. <lacht> ich komme auch überhaupt nicht auf äh, Schießen. Äh, Auf dem Pferd klar, tatsächlich. is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. He hadn't found us in time. Yes, we'll all be thanked profusely. I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. Some unknown reason. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot <laughs> up half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. Why you act all sour all the yeah, time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. Sons of Dutch makes us brothers. Sometimes brothers make mistakes. Now I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back of strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I 
been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah. Ich mag den Typen nicht. Was tust du so? No! So, ich glaube, an dieser Stelle mache ich eine Pause. Brrr. Okay. Und drehe mich im Kreis. Wie?
Alles klar. Guter Abschluss. <lacht> <lacht>